In the Mix is presented by Bon Thai Restaurant and Lounge, serving authentic Thai cuisine in the heart of Tumon. Bon Thai, home of smiles. Welcome back to In the Mix. We are now just days away from the Trench Challenge. And as we've done in years past, Team KUAM is partnering with Special Olympics Guam. And over the weekend, we got to take part in the final training camp. We're back at it, teaming up with our good friends over at Special Olympics Guam to tackle the Trench Challenge, a four-mile obstacle course race spread out over the 250 acres at the Guam International Raceway in Jigo. Over the weekend, the final training camp was held with OCR competitor Mike Kitigua and Tribe Guam fitness coach Jason Davis. Almost like a full body workout. Uh, I'm taking care of the exercises. Um, we're doing cardio and core, and um, he's going to do the obstacles pretty much. From stretches, jumping jacks, squats, and more, Special Olympians are ready to go. Apparently, they may be more ready than I am. Carol Piercy is with Special Olympics Guam. These guys are hyped. They've been hyped for, they, tip, they started in June to go to the, the Trench Challenge uh, you know, training courses, and then we, in August, we started training two times a week when people could come at uh, EPOW and uh, at the, we did water aerobics as kind of a little cross training and, and also they're, they're as ready as they can be this year and they're so excited to join up with KUAM again and, and partner throughout this whole course. So yeah, we're, we're ready to go, right guys? Ready? Yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> the Trench Challenge has raised over $15,000 for Guam Cancer Care and Special Olympics Guam. It features over 20 obstacles testing one's endurance strength and perseverance. I say the best advice is get a, uh, have a good dinner, eat healthy. You know, you want to be fresh and, and maybe not eat that like uh, heavy meal, you know, fiesta food right before the race. You want to be uh, nice and uh, efficient to race. So that's, I guess that's my um, recommendation. Wear something that you're willing to get dirty and might, uh, yeah, have a little hole in it because you're going to be crawling around and getting muddy. I mean, that's the nature of the race. So uh, yeah, wear stuff that like your hockey clothes or something. Yeah, or some sports wear. And I guess for the shoes, have some nice trail running shoes with a lot of grip, because uh, in case it rains, it might be a little slippery, so you want as much grip as possible. Although the OCR may sound challenging, it is, but it's also a lot of fun. We're doing it to complete, not compete. Yeah, so yeah. I guess that's the kind of attitude you have to have, right? Yeah, you know, it's fun for everybody, so even a regular average day person, you know, it might be intimidating, but uh, when you put it that way, uh, they're more likely to come out because they're just doing it for fun. And it's personal challenges too. I'd say uh, do your best. I think anybody can do this race. It's, uh, it looks very challenging at first, but if you believe you can, then, then you can do it. We have more after the break, but once again, here's more fashion from the red carpet at the Red Ball. Oh. 